Hello. In this lecture, I would like to talk about seismic analysis. According to UBC Code 97, Uniform Building Code. So, firstly, the main goal of earthquake resistant design is to maintain a structure with sufficient strength and ductility to assure life safety. To prevent collapse under the most intense earthquake expected, at a site during the life of a structure. In most structures that are subjected to moderate to strong earthquake, economical earthquake resistant design is achieved by allowing yielding to take place in some structural member. This section is dedicated to the static load analysis according to the static lateral force procedure exposed in the Uniform Building Code UBC 97, section 1630.2 for the seismic lateral load and according to the American Society of Civil Engineers ASCE for the wind static lateral load. So in the code UBC 97 there are two types of analysis, static lateral force procedure and dynamic. The concept employed in, in equivalent static lateral force procedure is to place static loads on a structure with magnitude and, and direction that closely approximates the effect of dynamic loading caused by earthquake. Concentrated lateral force due, due to dynamic load tend to occur at floor and ceiling roof level and building, where concentration of mass is the highest. Furthermore, concentrated lateral force tend to be larger at higher elevation in a structure. Where V is the base shear force associated with, gr with the ground motion at the base of the structure, Fx is the lateral story force applied at each story level of the structure, and the Ft is the additional lateral force applied at the top level of the structure. Where Ft is the effect of higher modes of vibration are, up are approximated in the UBC by considering an additional la lateral force Ft applied to the top level of a structure, a summation of lateral story force plus the additional lateral force at the top Ft must be equivalent to the base shear V force applied to the structure due to seismic ground motions. So what is base shear? Base shear is an estimate of the maximum expected lateral force that will occur due to seismic ground motion at the base of a structure. The calculation of base shear depends on many factors soil condition, proximity to potential sources of seismic activity, uh, probability of significant seismic ground motion, the level of the ductility, fundamental natural period of vibrations. In the code UBC, there are seismic zone 0 to seismic zone 4. Okay, In the seismic zone 0, no seismic activity is expected, and the seismic zone 4, high probability of significant seismic activity. Okay. The equivalent static force procedure in the Uniform Building Code specifies the following formula for calculating base shear. Firstly, V, V equals CVIWRT, CVIWRT, and the V maximum will be V 2.5 CAIWR, and V minimum equals 0 0.11 CAIWR, and the V maximum in the seismic zone for equal V equal 0.8 Z and V I W R. What is W? W is the total seismic dead load of the structure. Total seismic dead load of the structure. Dead load plus applicable portion of some, some, of some storage load and snow load as specified in UBC 1630.1.1. I is the importance factor. So W is the total self weight and SDL and live, lo and live load of storage and I is the importance factor. The importance factor is essentially an extra safety adjustment used to increase the calculated load on a structure based on its occupancy or function. Essential facilities such as hospital, fire and police stations will be I equal 1.25 and other structure like residential will be one so the important building in seismic will be 1.25 and others will be one t what's t t equals ct h n exponent 3 4 t is the 
fundamental natural period of vibration of a structure. CT depends on the type of structure, building. HN is the height of building and exponent 3, 4. R is the ductility and overstrength factor. The R factor is intended to account for inelastic structural behavior and the ability of a structure to displace, deform, and dissipate energy, energy without training. Since all R factors specified in UBC table 16N are greater than unity R greater than 1, the R factor effectively reduces the calculated base shear V by varying amount depending on the ductility of a structure. In general, ductile structural system should should have higher R factor than the brittle structural system. Typical value of R for many low rise how, uh, wood structure R. There are many systems in this table. For example, bearing wall, concrete shear wall, R will be 4.5. Building frame, concrete shear wall, 5.5. Moment resisting frame, there are three types special moment resisting frame and intermediate moment resisting frame and ordinary. 8.5, 5.5, and 3.5. And the dual system will be shear wall plus frame plus special or intermediate, 8.5 or 6.5. And this table for, I, for seismic importance factor I. Now FT. FT is additional force at the top level. So FT equal E0 when T less than 0 0.7 second. FT equals 0.07 TV when T between 0.7 and 3.57 and FT equals 0.25 when T greater than 3.57. In the code, there are many zones, zone 1, zone 2A, zone 2B, zone 3, zone 4, okay? Depend on acceleration, 1, 0.075, 2A, 0 0.15, 0 0.2, 0 0.3, and 0 0.4. Now the soil profile type SA, SB, SC, SD. SA hard rock, SB rock, only rock. SC very dense soil and soft rock, SD stiff soil profile, and ST soft, soft soil profile. In the formula of V, CV, I, W, R, T. CV, I don't know, I importance factor, W. The W is the total seismic dead load of the structure. R is the ductility of system. And T is the period CT HN. So CV. What's CV? CV depends on soil profile type and the seismic zone factor. Okay. If the, if the soil is SC and zone is 0 0.2, CV will be 0 0.33. Okay, and I have CA in the minimum, CA 0 0.11, CA IW, and the V maximum 2.5 CA. CA, same CV, but another table. CA, for example, SC at 0 0.2 will be 0 0.24. Okay, the distribution of force with this formula. V minus FT times WX HX on some WHE, where HX is the height from the base of the structure to level X, and WX is the portion of the building weight assumed to the lump at the level X.